Welcome everyone. This is Darby again. Today we are going to get a little more uh, familiar with uh, Krita. Uh, so I just opened a uh, document. Uh, just created a new one. Uh, let's see here. Control Z. Get rid of that. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go right over here and add a layer. Now we're going to lock this layer because it's the bottom layer. I don't want to mess with that. And I'm going to double click that. Let's put that, uh, I'm just going to call it a uh, line. Bum, ba, dum, bum. Uh, let's see here. I have some really cool brushes I just found online. I'll have to make those available sooner or later where I found them. Um, very awesome brushes. Uh, so many to choose from. So I'll grab this uh, pencil right here. And I'm going to grab this straight line here. And so what I'm going to do here is draw a straight line, or relatively straight. There we go. I'll lock that layer because I don't want to mess with that. I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to put ball. Because if you watched any of my videos, take any of my classes, I love um, doing this practice. It's uh, a very helpful. If you're gonna doodle, this is one great thing to doodle. Help you get better at uh, shading. All right, so I'm gonna grab this circle here, and there we go. Fabulous. So if you didn't see that, basically, I have this selected, and then um, I go to the circle. So basically, so that's that. Uh, we're gonna go down to this line here. Undo that lock, and then I'm gonna go grab a brush, grab an eraser. I'm just gonna kind of erase that, get that, get rid of that. I'll lock that again. I'm gonna lock the ball. Make another layer. Click this button to make that layer to the top. Um, we're gonna put a uh, wall color and while we're at it might as well just grab another one and call it table color and another one call this ball color and now that seems kind of weird that I'm making these things over and over and over again but I find it helps me keep things organized it also helps me to um, not color in the wrong areas and being able to manipulate each area independently. So let's go grab some brush. Mm. I'll grab this brush here. Yeah, it's cool. It's kind of a watercolor. And then I'll right click my mouse and release my button. Or maybe I won't. Uh, so let's see here. All right, we'll do it this way instead. So I'm going to select some colors here. There we go. Sometimes I think it's the Mac that when I hit buttons, it doesn't always work. So usually I find if I press something else and then go back to what I was doing, it usually works. Um, we're going to change this. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have a. Oh, I'm trying to think of the color scheme. I think I want a bluish purple ball here. So it means I'm going to want an orange ish table. So I'll go with the brown. Use a bracket key to make this a little bit larger here. I like that splotchy look, so I like that. Alright, then I'm going to press the plus key to zoom in a bit. 
Then I'll roll over here with. I'll grab this. I want to move some stuff down, make this thing bigger. I'll worry about that later. So I'm just kind of erasing here. Wow, uh, hold on, I have a call. All right, sorry about that uh, distraction there, but uh, it helped me. We kind of sped things along a little bit so you didn't have to see me erase. So basically I just erased that a bit. Um, blah, 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 blah. So now we're on wall color. And since I'm gonna have like a bluish purple ball, uh, what I'm gonna do here Let's see if I can find um Yeah, that's the brush I had. So what we're gonna do here is we'll change. Uh let's see here. Why don't we go for another orange type color? For the wall, let's kind of do a nice soft gray color here. Let me have the white coming from this side here. So, you can always change the opacity here, kind of try to blend it a little bit more. I do want it a little darker over here. Once again, I'll hit my plus, and my screen does this. I think it's a Mac thing. I don't know. So I'm going to grab uh, the space bar and bring it down, and all of a sudden that stuff just, I don't know, reconfigures, fixes itself, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to roll up here, grab this brush here. Oh, Command Z. Might have to get a little closer because I want to th be. Th pretty darn smooth with this. Now some people might not want um, uh, extreme precision or accuracy, but in this case I do. I think it's fun to kind of paint um, expressionistic and haphazard, but in this case I'm not trying to do that. And obviously, the closer you get, the more precise it's going to be. And I wouldn't have to erase so much if I was taking my time when I applied it the first time. Okay, so we'll press the minus, get back out. This right there, fabulous. Okay, so now we have the wall, we have the table. Now what we're gonna do is click on the ball color here. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. I'm gonna position this. Grab my brush I was just using. Where'd he go? And let's see, we'll go with this blue here. Change the bracket keys to make it smaller. Let's see what it's like here. Okay. All right, so.
So I'm basically going to go around this ball here. And I'm going to follow the contour lines of the shape here. Does that make sense? My contour is going to fall around the ball like it was a basketball. I'm going to do this again here. change the opacity here so now it's going to make smaller changes smoother changes as you will a little bit. I want to make it a little bit darker down here. Grab that opacity down again. I'm just trying to follow the arc of the ball. Change my color here. Uh, I'm going to pull it right around here. Follow the arc a little bit. The arc. When I find using very small changes is the best, use too big of changes. It's going to be very noticeable. So I'm just trying to blend by changing the opacity. It's kind of like changing the pressure in your hand. Uh, and then we'll kick this up. We'll go to white. Or almost white, somewhere around there. Okay, so I can uh, move out a bit. I want to kind of see where that's at. Let's go back in a bit. Move this thing. Well, the thing about Krita is it has the color saved, your recent color. So I'm going to go here. And opacity. This over here. Because I want the light coming from over here, so change this a bit. So this is one way. I also like blending. Um, so that's one of my favorite ways to, to do this as well. Since we're on here, I'm also going to change this because I want my shadow. We're gonna go really dark here, opacity right down, really low. Maybe not that low. I like to see a little change as I go. A little bit more. There we go, I'm starting to see a little bit of Blend that a bit. Why don't we change colors here? I go black. And so here we are talking way down here where the ball basically contacts the table. So that's where it's going to be really dark. Kind of blend that in a bit. Okay, then we're going to zoom in a bit, and we're going to go back to this eraser. I'm 
I'm going to change the size a little bit. And I'm going to use the space bar. grab this and I'm going to pause the video now so I can clean this up and I'll be right back. <laughs> 